Welcome back to PlayStation 2. Underrated gem. Remember that underrated gem of a console, PlayStation 2? Underappreciated, underrated gem. As a, as a console that sold so many millions of units, PlayStation, I'm just plugging my controller in while I'm doing this, PlayStation had a lot of very weird games. I think only the Wii rivals it in regards to how fucking strange some of the games are. And I played some of them last time. Poiny's Poin comes to mind, which I will never forget for as long as I live. For as long as I shall draw breath, Poiny's Poin shall not leave my memory. And other such games, like Stretch Panic, Bubalia game. Today, though, we're going to take a look at some Japanese PS2 games. But first, Pointy's Point. <laughs> Here it is. Your favorite game, chat. I think this collection was submitted by Brute Tigrex. I believe it was. Oh, Barbary. Do I have to set the dead zone again? I think I have to set the dead zone again. Uh. Hmm. I did it last time, didn't I? Is this game in a dead zone? Well... These 8 bitdo controllers really do not last for me. Because this starts happening. I'm at the point where I don't know if I'd recommend these controllers anymore. Because I've had two crap out for different reasons. What the fuck are these? I don't even know why I'm playing this. I thought it'd be funny to like boot it up for a second and now I'm playing it again. My granddad has been living here since the town was built. Who whomst are you? Why do you look like that? Full playthrough confirmed. I don't know about that, chat members. Go back in the sewer. Hey, you, no crop. Oh, I 
god. I guess you have to... Yeah, you just have to, like, go to those spots. You just have to, like, go to them. I guess... Is it too late for me to just shut this off now? Like, I feel like I have to at least hear the duck speak once. You're gonna be hearing that noise a lot because I can't find the option to um, increase the dead zone on this controller. This is now a part two of your playthrough. Ah, uh, here we go. I just need the dopamine from the duck real quick. What? There's no time for that. Look what the petite gang did to me. Help me out here, will ya? Petite who? Petite gang, the bad brats in this town. I heard they've got a secret hideout. Don't know where it is, but those brats know the town better than any of the adults. Mm. Don't mmm me. I've got problems over here. You catching my drift? Hey, get in. <laughs> if those red brats in the town, then we ought to have a little talk with them. Come on. Come in to point. Come in, point. If they know the town, then they might know where your house is. Oh yeah, you're smart. What can I say? I've got the gift. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just Cartman. <laughs> yeah, good controllers. Eight bit though controllers, the best controllers. You can set a dead zone in the 8-BitDo software itself. It will persist across games. Well, what are we here? It's too narrow for an adult to fit through, but... Boy, I wish I did that before the stream. Best character design. Perfect! Tom! We got the little booger! Hang on, I'm updating the 8 bit though firmware as I speak. Maybe I should have waited until. No, it's, it's, it's fine. Isn't there like a control panel for this thing? device is ready to go. Wait, no, that's not good, because now that, that stops the playthrough. Check it to the genius! I'll be there in a second! We are waiting. See, this game isn't nearly as good as people remembered it being. It's only been a week, but already the rose-tinted glasses. It's even better? Oh, all right. Like I said, it's too- this game is just too sugary. Um, my hero. High in sugar. Where are you going? Wait for me! It's like eating a full pack of gummy bears. Got it! Be there or be square! Yahoo! Hey, 
you don't know how to use their pee or get out the pot. <laughs> well. W H I M P. Smashed it. Well, speaking of fake games, someone made the Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication music video game. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play it at some point, but I have to check and see if it has the song. Well, a shitty version of it, chat. It's really not much to speak of, but, you know. Um, let me just configure my controller again. I'm sorry for the delay. What did I do last time? I remember I did something. On devices. Uh, this game is only 20 minutes. Make an analog binding, you'll be able to adjust the dead zone. Analog stick. Boy, this is annoying. Wasn't there another? There was like an 8 bit dose software that you could use. Pee or get off the pot. VOD watchers skip to next stream. Oh, you done did it. You, you got me. You done got me. Please send all complaints to 8 bit dose. 8-Bit Ultimate Software. Okay. Well, I'm going to need to do that, so I'm just going to, like, multitask. Lilu Dallas multitask. So this is a game called Vib Ribble. I actually have a notepad, I think. Yeah, I do. It's the sequel to Vib Ribbon for the PS1. Primary goal is to find 2D hidden sprites on a photo and use as a trampoline. So I did play, um, Vib Ribbon. Is, is the rabbit saying Vib Ripple? Huh. I think I... F Figured it out. Chad, I figured it out. While you're enjoying this great music, take a look at this. Every now and then, like, I figured out the dead zone, but every now and then you can see it. That's me. But it does some wacky things all on its own, chat. I'm ruining the PS2 stream with the- there, oh, oh! Oh! Did you see it? It was like a ghost! You caught it! It did it! I feel vindicated. Alright. Now, what is Vib Ribble? Ripple. Ribble. Rip. Rip. Ribble. I'm ready. Okay. 
this is a very strange game. Uh, problem is, I don't think I actually can play this. You need to find a red, green, pink object. Am I in game right now? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a demo. This is this is demo mode, but I Now the controller's working again. Controller issues are fun. I love controller issues. Start. Stato. Start. Huh, it works for a second, then it goes back to player one mode. And then it doesn't work again. Huh, now it's not working. Alright, we're gonna exit. Stream. Pulpit. No, this is a different issue than the shoulder buttons. Now it's an issue we're probably related to me updating the firmware while I was live, while I was playing a video game. If all goes well, this will work. And it's not. Hmm. Is there a way to switch to uh different like player 1, player 2 on the controller? See, it starts for a second, I see the two lights go on. It works when the two lights are on, and now the two lights are off. Close 8 bitdo software. <laughs> now nothing is working. The <laughs> PCSX2 is not working. The controller is not working. Chat, what if I pour some toothpaste on it? This is one of those elusive technical problem streams. Hopefully this fixed it. I think I might have fixed it, chat. It's been a while since we have have had like horrendous tech problems. There's always some tech issue, but not like not like stream is halted for this long. Now it's player three. How do you... <laughs> Chat. It's detecting my controller as player three. How, how do I... How do I switch this? <laughs> yeah, the lights at the bottom, there's three. There's three lights lit up. That doesn't mean player three. Okay. Why are there three lights? I feel like Captain Picard. This is one of those fix by restarting the computer moments, isn't it? 
I've had this problem. It's Windows being shit. Oh, that's not also not a surprise completely. Well, everybody, you can go home now. Now, hang on. Let me try a different one. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my old 8-bit though controller and see if that changes anything. It's setting up a controller now. Make sure your controller is in X input mode. It is. It has something to do with Windows not releasing active controllers. So how do I release active controller? Just restart the computer. All right. Okay, going to do that. Let me try one more thing before I do that. Gamepad settings. Uh, maybe there's a way. No, probably not. Well, you're all very patient for waiting, and uh, sorry, but yeah, I'll just need, I'll need to restart more than likely. Well, thank you. It's either Windows or, well, it's a combination of things, I would imagine. It's the controller for, like, not lasting that long. It's got a premium feel to it, but I guess so does a crystal spiky dildo. So, yeah, this, this is not a controller I would recommend anymore the fuck It's working now. I just unplugged the controller a bunch of times, plugged in a different one, and then plugged it back in. Anyway, it's working now. Johnny will cut all of that. You benefit from watching this in the future. Watching this live, not so much. Don't, I don't speak the language. Um, I'm going to say that this is probably... There it is. This this is uh, marbles. So we're, we're going to roll around on marbles as a little cartoon rabbit. That's what it said. Wow. Marble.jpg is my favorite trampoline. Find the right objects hidden within the picture. Okay. I don't really get it.
keep jumping on specific spots to pull out the object. Oh. I found a thing. Well, this is a lot weirder than what I expected a sequel to Vib Ribbon to be. To be fair, the main point of this game was to plug your iLink Digicam to load your own photos into this game. So, you could be bouncing... ...on... ...a... ...pineapple. I mean, yeah, the trampoline physics are fucking next level. I really don't understand. <laughs> Thank you. You can import photos to bounce. Right, we've established that. You can you can boing on various things. There are many ways to boing. You could bounce on a fucking fat juicy apple if you want. Oh boy, it's just a big plumpy. I don't think I'm in any anywhere near the right menus. I know what that said. USB camera. I mean, I didn't even complete this one. <laughs> Are you winning? I don't know! Yeah, no. Eh. I mean, I bounced. You saw the bounce. There's not much more, unless, I, I would imagine, we had PS2 camera, but we'll just leave it at that. Yakisha Boy 2? Yakisha Boy 2. Best way I could describe this, it's like Pokemon Snap, but in 2D. Fun fact, the game was supposed to be released in Europe under the name Polaroid Pete, but the publisher went under just before it was getting to print. Luckily, a few review copies were sent out, and now it's one of the rarest games in the entire PS2 catalog. Hmm. 
that kind of looks like something from a plug and play. Irem. From with I don't like that walk animation. I mean, the animation is fine. It's just, what does it represent with these tight ass jeans and that big weird creep grin? This dude founded hotvoyarpics.com in, in 2001. Going to get them photos. <laughs> Go, going to submit some fucking pics to mrskin.cock. There he is, Mr. Skin. Oh, uh... You, you gotta get in here and meet Quota. Uh, Gekibo... You fucking... Idiot. You serious?! You're late every day. Your work sucks. I swear to God, if you don't get a good picture of Spider-Man, you're fired. That's what it says. No, I, I get it. I'll get the photo. Don't worry. I know him. Well, how do you know someone like Spider-Man anyway? It's all that stuff. looking for the perfect supplementary video to go along with this. No! Nope, not that one. Not, no, that's just my sleep paralysis demon. The storyline is really interesting. Well, now I know how to play the game. You can't accuse me of grumping this one. Couldn't find the video I was looking for. Oh, please, no more of that. No more, no more angry office, J. Jonah Jameson. The Matrix? What the fuck? They're gone! I mean, it's kinda cool, though. It's a little different than I expected from Pokémon Snap. In the sense that... <laughs> you actually... your character actually moves around. So- OH SHIT! SUPERMAN! That was amazing. Oh no, is he gonna seppuku? Don't do it. That's the dead zone I supposedly fixed. Oh, 
Oh shit, flaming hot turds. I think I did just fine, thank you. Vinny, I got you the video you were looking for. Need the money. Miss Brandt? Yes? Get me a violin. <laughs> Could you pay me in advance? <laughs> That's the one! <laughs> yeah, it's that one. My society photographer got hit in the head by a polo ball. You're all I got. Big party for an American. Could you pay me in advance? <laughs> Mission failed. Come on, man, I got so many good photos. The sign above the boss's desk says, I want the Pulitzer. Fell off the building. That's 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 fine. What year did this come out? Oh, Beautiful. I'm assuming the first half of 2001. I thought that was an award-winning face, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I missed Superman again. How is that not the most amazing Pulitzer winning photo? Oh, that, that person went fast. It's like different things happen. This is kind of awesome though, in its own way. If I understood what the fuck was happening, I'd probably enjoy it a lot more, but... What was that noise? What was that noise? At this point, I'm just interested in seeing all the wacky stuff happen, like fucking Godzilla! Awesome photo. Clown! Oh, I didn't quite get it at the right moment. I also do not think I won here. There's a version of this on... Actually, a version of this game first on the PC engine that was just as insane. Not good enough. Maybe one day I will look into the English version of this and also um, the previous PC Engine version.
What's that? Is that just like the flash? The camera flash? Got you, Superman. Got you in your in your panties. That was an amazing photo, but it was rejected out outright for some reason. Vinny, how did you miss the piss the second time? I don't know. you are missing every event. Well, I'm seeing them, I just am not able to capture them in time. Plane did a goddamn loop-de-loop. -loop. This game's kind of hard. That was a great- I saved the clown. I saved the clown with my photography skills. I did it. Godzilla was embarrassed that you were trying to take- Feet picks. <laughs> God damn, this game is tough. And that was just level one, man. I will say, though, this game is cool. I enjoyed greatly all the weird stuff that was going on in the background. But I might need to do a little bit more research. Could be a specific objective, I'm not sure, but... It was really good. The name of that game, once again, was... Gekibo Gekisha Boy 2. This one is called... Ikuze Onisen... Takyu. My Japanese pronunciation is... Definitely getting better. This is an anime ping pong game with a wide cast of characters such as schoolgirl, guy in full leather, old man, middle-aged man, theme park mascot, and of course, normal as person. Oh. Oh, normal ass person. Yeah, it was just a cutout of a human. Sure is anime face. Pantsutan? Oh, why this one? Pantsutan? What is this fucking creature that God had hath forsaken? It's gonna be regular human. It's very human. Uh, I was hoping it would be like a cardboard cutout.
that that's good, right? If I have one point. Why why is Boon bad at every game he play? That he only play for two minutes? He has never played before. And yet he bad at game. I do see that from time to time. I mean, granted, I can take the ego hit of not being good at video games because I'm not. <laughs> but... I mean... Sometimes you just have never played a game before. But I'm pressing... I'm literally... Literally pressing the button. Oh, there are several buttons. Big grandma pull the car around. Reaction time is a factor, Leon, so... The true, excuse me, I wanted to go back and become the duck. The true hell is that I cannot, I cannot actually go back to the menu. I did it. I mean, the game is, is fine. It's a functional ping pong game, for sure. I'm uh, pretty fucking terrible at it, but... Just need to get them reaction times looked at. Maybe the doctor got something for that. I don't know. Yeah, Mr. Sauce, we're gonna de-age you 15 years, and that'll help with your bad gameplay. Also, you should play more shoot and less bad beat game. Whoa, I got hit. All right, well... I... I guess I kind of want to play as the duck. We, we got a feel for the gameplay. It's definitely ping pong. It's a solid ping pong game. It's the cast of characters that ranges from the mundane to the absurd. Though I am a little upset, perturbed even, that the real human was not a cardboard cutout. Or not actual pictures of a person. Bong Slop, please play more Beppy game. Which doctor are you? Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Bong Slop, you may enter the doctor's office now. You see, the problem is you play too much shoot, not enough Beppy. I prescribe you one month of full baby game, no shoot. And that is how you de-age. I mean, this is it. This is the screenshot right here. Another thing you need to do to de-age yourself is shit your pants. Like, shit yourself? Yeah, but... When you get older, you shit yourself, too. This guy knows. That's why my, my theory about, like, 
think of it this way. Reincarnation. If you get to live long enough, you kind of revert into a baby-like state when you're older. Because you become, you know, hairless. And you shit yourself. And your brain isn't good. And then when you respawn as, you know, like a new human, you're already used to- you're used to it. It's like a circle. It's like poetry. It rhymes. I know the queen is respawned as some YouTuber's child or something, but... But what if you could respawn in the past? What if the queen respawns as her own grandmother? Holy fuck. Imagine that, or like a stick insect. In like, 1862. Oh yeah. That's right. No, but it doesn't make sense. Why would you reincarnate into the past? If you're buying into reincarnation and you put limits on it, it is you who is fool. You must understand. Anyway. <laughs> Super Galdic Hour. Is this like time traveling ghosts? Also real. Also real. Super Galdic Hour. Chat will love this one. Smiley face is the note. Oh no. Wait, Enix made it. It can't be that bad, right? Then I remember this abort. Oh! It's Booba Tubbies. Oh. Well, lads, time to generate some tubby custard. What the fuck am I playing? Are they trying to, like, do a Spice Girls kind of thing? Like... <clears throat> okay. A stray cat girl appears in your video game. It all makes perfect sense. <laughs> I understand now. They had to board a mothership and leave their planet and come to Earth. Between this and that game from last week with the helicopter Britsons, Helicoptobertsons? That's what they're called. Helicoptobertsons. I feel like... Like chat is intentionally trying to get my stream. Never mind. No, I did Zorn. I, you know what? I showed Zorn. It's fine. Never mind. Character select. Well, I'm the person where I do what I want. 
Vinny, pick the largest one. Chat member, my brother in Christ. What do you mean? Alright, fine. I don't even know what kind of game this is. No idea what kind of gameplay there will be. Is it a fighting game? Can you play this with one hand, is the question. I stole that joke from a chat member. Gang up on them. Get em! I totally and Oh, rope jumping! Of course it would be a rope jumping game! Why wouldn't it be? No, Christ was not involved in the creation of this game. Loaned one? Okay. Maybe we can record another sample? So that we have like, I don't know, 20 different OKs? It was in that moment, streamer questioned his life choices. What were the events that led streamer to this point in streamer's life? What series of decisions eventually led to this very moment? Always get you with that. They always get you with that. Well, you always got to put your breast foot forward. We don't need to rewind. No, we could just we could just keep. No, no, we don't need to. No, we don't need to see that. Oh, what kind of cool camera angles are these already programmed into the game? Why would there be a replay mode for a game as simple as jump rope where you press one button? Huh? That's interesting. Oh, and a camera mode, too. Winner! Kuma! Oh. 
Quick draw a pie. Like quick draw a pie or quick draw a pie. Doesn't help. <laughs> of course, of course, this, yeah, of course. What the fuck? Yo, what kind of game is this? This is bullshit. Now imagine spending full price on this game when you also are in possession of the internet. I mean, you could be watching sports on television. You know, you don't have to you don't have to play this. Oh yes, please. We we need um yes, we need a replay of this intense fierce competition. Be, be sure to get the <laughs> camera angles. Yeah, Jack TV. Hip sumo wrestling. <laughs> I I think I have to stop playing this. What is this weird psychedelic yellow submarine esque bullshit happening? Papa. I love Cappuccino. Cappuccino. What the fuck is this? You just booty blast. You just booty. You just booty blast off the platform. That's the game. You're just booty blasting each other until one. Per it's like American Gladiators, but with your ass. No, I've never played the Dead or Alive games, chat. Trust me, the fighting looked amazing. Loser camera angles. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess her name is Coomer, isn't it? Okay, well, this is the last one I'm gonna play. I think that's, uh... Yeah, th this is- this is good. Good enough. I like to sp speed, speed. Whoa! Do I like to sp whoa, whoa, speed? I like to speed. Make butter from my Please For camera angles. Yeah, oh, that's that's the ones. Good view of the action. Keep them camera angles coming. Yeah. Oh God, that was the disc. I was changing the disc. It's still up. Why is it still up on XSplit? Stop this. You know how Twitch is? They have to be real. Anyway. This is a game called Ultraman. <laughs> it's a 2.5D game where you play as the titular hero and fight against various monsters and aliens. It's the story mode is an abridged version of the 1966 TV show. Oh, reverse. I love practical effects. This game will never, ever live up to the previous game. The, its only flaw being played after previous game. Huh. That looks funny. Why is it? It's familiar. Maybe I've seen that exactly from Ultraman, the TV show. It's very familiar. I heard the word kaiju. I know that word. Oh, 
<laughs> That's really fucking cool, this mix of the old show plus PS2 graphics. But seriously, though, this is awesome. Oh, you know, Godzilla laser versus uh, water. Great value, Godzilla. <laughs> nice brand. Have you watched Ultraman? No. Oh, that was awesome! God, the animations are fantastic! Yo! Kaiju show is just r wrestling in a rubber suit. Yeah, but also with powers. Man, the Atomic Age got real weird. When does Ultraman butt wrestle? Yeah, I don't think Ultraman and a Kaiju lobster booty blast each other into a vat of acid. Just a hunch. I like that no attempt was made to hide the fact that this costume was originally like spandex. And I don't mean for Ultraman. If you were a big fan of the show, and then this game came out... You have to admit, that's kind of awesome. I mean, it's a complete tonal shift from Booba game. But it is no doubt a good game. And you can get, like, narration, like you're watching the show. Nice. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, laughing all the way to the grave. And like visually, it still looks good because it's a fairly simple concept. The models are just kind of fighting each other. The animations are fantastic. There are many kaiju. 
you only have three minutes like the show for the fights. Okay, so they, they imitate the, um... The show. Like, the pacing of the show through the fights in the game. That's cool. No shit. Is that where Mario 64 Koopa came from? Imagine Miyamoto saw that as a child and was just like, yeah, that that's it. That's what we're gonna do for our game. see this ultra special oh my god oh my god again oh it's that one And then he just flies the fuck off. What a, what a fucking awesome Chadley game this is. Hmm. Well, I wanted to check out a couple more games. Bust a Move Dance Summit 2001. <laughs> I want to check this one out, and then, um, there's one more Japanese game included. I think we have time to get to both of them, even though I'm pretty tired. I woke up really early today, for some reason. Which is why it started a little early. That's some great music you got there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How many sleeper agents were activated watching that? <laughs> I think it's bugged because I switched the CD mid game. It's fine. It's worked before. Uh. Uh. No. That's the funny button. When there's too much silence and not enough funny per minute, you just press the heat seeking moisture missile button. Works every time. Dance Summer 2001. What what cool character model is that? Oh man. A 
a moment of silence, please. <laughs> oh. Wasn't expecting that noise. Wait, Cherry Bomb? Is that like the the, the song D DMCA? I wouldn't be surprised. It's, it's probably DMCA. Whatever. If it gets claimed, Johnny will replace this with the most ridiculous music he can find. I know. I know Johnny by now. And we go from the most amazing, cool, fun animations to... Oh God, make it end. There's, like, no feedback on what you're supposed to... Like, if you did it right... It... It's a little bit of feedback, but not enough. No. Do you want to continue? Not really. Game over. Can I glitch this again and get that really cool sleeper agent thing that happened? Because that was <laughs> probably better than the game. <laughs> Can you crawl on the ground like a baby? We'll just go ahead and do this in an arcade real quick. Someone in chat just said, this music makes me violent. I told you, chat, this game is a fucking activation thing. Again, don't know if I'm even hitting the thing. Oh. Alright. Honestly, the game just did us a favor. Go back to Pointy's Point. How about... No, but how about Mr. Mosquito 2? Let's go Hawaii. So I know about Mr. Mosquito. I don't know if I've played it, but in this game you, you play a little cartoon mosquito and you suck people's blood. And, uh... Yeah. Your main targets are either a Japanese family or an English-speaking family, and the game gets weirdly erotic. What, what, what? A mosquito game? Sweet blood. Instant eroticism. 
ですね夏を楽しんでいますか夏といえばレジャーの季節ですねバカンスを利用して海や山へ出かけたり It's like North Korea training tape Did you ever see any of those like the propaganda tapes they have on loop? Just something about the combination of the real footage and the music, the whispering and the speaking all at once. It just unlocked like some, some primal fucking fear. Oh, it's an American mosquito. You know what? I want to be cultured. I live in America. Why would I choose the American mosquito? I, wa I want to learn about other cultures. This is a game about a mosquito? What is your opinion on mosquitoes? I have a hot take, and I know that mosquito Twitter is gonna probably hate me for this, but... You know what? It's just one of those things I gotta say. I fucking hate them. FYI, you reincarnated as this guy in the past. Picking American Mosquito gives you a different intro. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's brain damage. Permanent brain damage, in fact. Permanent, permanent, permanent brain damage. Permanent, permanent, permanent. Permanent, permanent, permanent brain damage. Gotta entertain myself somehow. I never even knew they made a sequel to Mr. Mosquito. It's like Beetlejuice went Hawaiian. That way, you're supposed to. Never happened. But Mr. Mosquito actually did. The Mosquito follows them on vacation. So... This is the American family, I can... They're totally wasting their vacation time. It's a beautiful day outside. I don't Listen to Americans. Their whole day in bed. They must be very tired. From what I understand, Japan is very far away. One thing bothers me. I thought of it when I saw Rena. Why do all the Japanese girls have orange hair? 
I thought Japanese people had beautiful dark hair. Hmm. I'm not well, sure. What are you trying to say there, brother? You mention it, though. I don't even know what I you're talking about, man. I haven't seen a Japanese person with dark hair for a long time. Man, I don't even Is know what you're evolution? saying. Evolution, maybe. No, evolution. Dad, can't you tell? They dye their hair. And why did they leave the father at home? I thought it was a family trip. Um, John, Kenichi is the father. I see. Oh, he's all, I all, all he just so on it out there, man. Kid, but... Japanese people really are very small, aren't they? What are you talking I about, man? How, how do you... See them at I the swear to God, man, this is... What you hey, just... oh, show some respect. Oh, 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 I almost stepped on them because i didn't see them you almost stepped <laughs> holy shit man what are you what are you talking about have you been in this film, film before the elvis here, movie here. Oh. elvis filmed a movie in hawaii there was a, a like a Hawaii Elvis movie, so he's in my head. He's here right now. Yeah, remember this is Jap. Okay, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. This is Japanese people writing Americans talking about Japanese people. There they are, American hunks. Hasselhoff Baywatch. I don't get it. The controls are really, really bizarre for this. Uh oh, Gasm policy violated. Trying to poke the green spots, but what is the button? Oh, that one. The camera gets fucky because of the controller. If I'm pressing the right button. Vinny, mosquitoes drink blood, not milk. Chat member, you are as genius as you are predictable. Dead zone was fine because I I um I fixed it. I think this game just has is more sensitive. Or so, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. I thought I fixed it before and I switched the profile and that helped. Huh? Ah! Huh? Ah! 
Mr. Mosquito. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't get it. What do I what do I do here? Spin the analog stick. Press X or triangle. X just exited. But yeah, this is Mr. Mosquito, everyone. Just gonna play, try a little bit more. I'm rotating the stick. Didn't work. Press triangle. Press... Yeah. Press that too. Pressing triangle as we speak. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying various things. R3 when landed to stuck, suck, and then press rotate right stick. Everything here. It, the, the controls are so confusing. The, the fucking controller. I mean, I, I get it now, kind of. I don't know how much more energy I have to play this, but, but it is definitely unique. I mean, I've seen a little footage of Mr. Mosquito 1. Play the American one, at least. Yeah, I can do that. There's a bath level? There, oh, Mr. Mosquito 1 has a bath level. Oh. Like, how do we sell this Mosquito game? I know. Hear me out on this one, Jenkins. Areoli. Areoli, sir? Yes. It's plural. It's two of them. Two of them. Yep, in a bathtub. You're a mosquito, Jenkinson. You trust me. Bathtubs, mosquitoes, areoli. Ticket to success. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, have you seen so? Yes. Hello. Hello, father. Now we're ready for a 
our Japanese guests. Yes, we are. I wanted to make sure that the Yamada's family vacation won't be spoiled by any mosquito bites. <laughs> <laughs> With this much insecticide floating around, no bug can survive. My God. Peace has returned to our home. And we can live without fear or discomfort. We oh my will never God. see it again. Hey, I think we should get going soon. They should be arriving. You're right. Let's leave right now. We'll get there just in time. All right, ready? I wonder what the Yamadas are like. I'm so excited to meet them. The highest quality. In all aspects. <laughs> Yeah, he's, no, he's got a Speedo on. We Americans, we love our Speedos. Jenkinson. Not Jenkinson, but Jenkinson. I like that guy. It's a new character for me. Because you have Jenkins, who's in the American boardrooms, but for Japanese games, oh, Jenkins on. I can't stay awake any longer. Good night. He works for Nobunga. in peace. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching this showcase of wholesome uh, PlayStation games. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you, Brute Tigrex, for submitting this pack. Very interesting, very, very interesting collection. And uh, high quality as well. So, yeah, I hope you all have a good night. The Teletubby game was the best. Yeah, I mean, now that you've, uh, now that you've said that out loud in a chat room of 6,000 plus people, I mean, yeah, that's great. It was Booba Tubby, by the way. Well, I'm going to go, and uh, I'll just say, if you would like extended viewing, I have some uh, interesting stuff. I have um, a video coming out of me trying some something food-related, and uh, that should be fun. And I also have Half-Life 2 VR, and uh, I have a code for Shovel Knight Dig, but I can't play that until the embargo's up. But it looks kind of fun. So that's pre-recorded stuff. I'll probably continue some other things too but for live more splatoon this week maybe another destroy all humans i don't know if i'm going to end up finishing that game kind of just got a little bit bored of it it's cool though wouldn't mind doing one more chapter at least but we'll see um and then i have that other half-life one mod i've been meaning to check out which is like opposing force sequel kind of stuff and um Next weekend, like I said, we'll, we'll be doing something charity related and I will have corruptions for you. Some other interesting things. And then as October rolls along, I'm going to definitely have some good spoopy, spooptober things that I've been holding on to for a while. All right. Well, good night, everybody. Thank you, everyone that helped submit something tonight or helped with the... Um, vetting or uh helped with the server for team fortress 2 tf2 is always a good time i also have a pack of counter-strike maps 1.6 that could be cool for the future so that that will also that will also be a thing 
Um, yeah, so, and also one more thing. Yes, I'm tired, but I will deliver the speech. Thank you for the continued support in all ways. I appreciate it very much. Whether you sub, which you do not have to, you watch, which you do not have to, or you just actively, you know, spend energy, you know, thinking about how much you dislike the streams or like them. Either way, thanks. Good night. Take care. Do you would like meme? <laughs> you can tell I'm tired, can't you? Do, do you would like meme? Well, get fucked. Get, get fucked!